Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, Jim's still poorly, so he's still on the sofa. Um, and after the bread um, vlog, the last one, uh, the comments were great. Thanks so much for that. They were really helpful and I've learned a lot. Uh, Mark Griggs, you said check out John Kirkwood um, channel. I, I'll put a link in the um, description. Really good, um, brilliant, brilliant channel. Um, and you said, why don't you, you know, try out his recipes and maybe even do a oven versus um, air fryer. And I thought that's a brilliant idea. So let's do that. You know, I thought, yes, what a great idea. I'll have to empty my oven of all these pots and pans, but you know, that, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, so I thought, yeah, I, I'm going to try that. So I've got the ingredients. I actually ran out this morning before I went to work um, to get some strong bread flour uh, and some active, I mean, in-date yeast, which is great. So, I mean, these are just, the ingredients will be listed at the end and in the description and in the comments if you want to copy and paste uh, as well. So, the, the, yeah, strong white bread flour. That I got from my, um, a little local shop. I, I mean, I was running around like a blue ass fly. <laughs> um, some yeast uh, that's in date because little don't sell it, and I wasn't going. In, I wasn't in near that anyway. Um, salt, uh, salt, sugar, and olive oil. Um, he, this was for his his quantities, and I'm following his recipe exactly to, as much as possible, bearing in you know in terms of technique. Um, but his is for a two pound loaf. So I've got two one pound loaves because obviously that won't fit a two pound loaf, but a one pound loaf can go in the oven as well. And we're gonna split it in half and put it in the oven and in the ninja and hopefully see how they turn out. It'll be really good, It'll be really interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and get cooking. See you in a bit. So I'm just checking the temperature of the water and it's just just over 40 degrees, which John Kirkwood said is 40 is the best, the ideal temperature. Close enough, close enough. So with that, I'm going to add um, the, the yeast. And the salt. Oh, sorry, not the salt. The sugar, oh, stir it. Yeah, never salt because that that kills it. I know that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just the yeast and then the sugar, and then lastly the, the the olive oil. So while that's um, proving, hopefully, you know, like it should bubble all, all being well, um, I'm going to get the flour into the bowl. See you in a bit. So I'm just going to add the flour. And J John said, put your salt in the flour and then um, mix it thoroughly at this stage. I'm still waiting for the um, yeast to uh, bubble up. It's only been a few minutes. So I shall see you in a bit. So that looks pretty good. Um, what did John do? He stirred it, didn't he? I'm just going to mix it in.
going to use this. I'm going to oil it and use it to for the uh, bread to have its first rise. John said if it's a little bit sticky you can add a tiny bit of flour Still sticking. Oh, come on, bread. Oh, right, I'm going to oil this and then get it in and let it rise for, John says, 30 minutes in a draft-free, warm place. He, he reused his bowl as well, so see how that goes. So, yes, let's get it in. Oh. Uh, and I'll cover it with a tea towel and um, I'll be back in 30 minutes. Well, a couple of seconds for you. See you in a bit. So let's see. Oh, it's got bigger. <laughs> um, I really did like how um, John Kirkwood had a shower cap over the bowl. So I'm, I'm, I've actually ordered one off eBay. So I definitely will do that. A shower cap fitting over top of the bowl was a brilliant idea. Right, let's get this out. cut it in half because I, I really want um I need the two loaves one for the oven and one for the um I'm trying to make it a sausage shape yeah so one for the oven one for the air fryer um John made it look so easy right that will have to do that one And then this one. Right, 
Okay, right, so we're going to do the same thing. Let them rise uh, for 30 minutes. Um, hopefully they rise anyway. Ooh. In a warm, draughtly free place. So I will see you in 30 minutes. Uh, sorry, a couple of seconds. <laughs> see you in a bit. So they've risen quite nicely. Um, I've preheated the Ninja because I'm preheating the oven. So I'm trying to replicate similar situations to see, you know, give it the best chance. So I'm just going to put some um, flour on top. said put the oven one on a baking tray I'm gonna open the oven door but you can watch me put it in oh jeez oh oh that's a bit too oh, I'm so out of practice of using an oven okay 30 minutes from now and we're gonna put this one in drawer two Right, I'm just going to wait for it to stop its cool thing. <coughs> Covering it with flour. Right, okay. Hold on, what are we doing? Draw two. Air fry. 170. What was it for? 30 minutes. <coughs> I'll definitely check after 20 minutes. Because um, I'm not 100% sure about times and temperatures because that's that's a new one. Okay, well, I'll see you in a bit. Ten minutes to go. I'm just going to have a quick cautionary check. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well, I'm quite glad I checked. I might flip it. So bear with me because I can't do this one-handed. Oh, well, actually, let me get my... I think the air's blown some of this flour off. I mean, I did go a bit heavy. It kind of fell out. But... All right, let's just get that out. Oops. Okay, uh, I'm going to get that out and put it upside down back in the Ninja. So I'll see you in a minute because I just can't do that one-handed. I'm just looking at it and that looks all right to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as is and let it, well, I'm going to take out the other one in about five, well, ten minutes because it's ten minutes to go because it's on the same time or was, but clearly this is ten minutes uh, quicker. The flower's got a bit blown all up about, which is a, never mind, but that looks really, really nice. I hope it cuts all right. So yeah, I'll be back when I get the other one out. See you in a bit. Let's get this baby out. I'm just gonna. Right, yeah. I need oven gloves. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, right. That's the 30 minutes up. I'm just gonna leave that in there. Cause... Whoops. Turn it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they look slightly more. Actually, I think that's a bit higher. I'm going to get it out because um, this has had 30 minutes and this has had 20. And you can tell, I mean, the oven hasn't, does because it doesn't do that, but the air fryer's been blown about the, the uh, flour dust. Yeah, so I'm going to get it out now and uh, be back in a bit. Right, well, they're nice and cool. Um, well, this is the air fryer one, so we know... Let's just turn them over, Let's, and that's the oven one. So that, that's quite a bit lighter. I mean, it was 20 minutes and half an hour. In fact, I wonder, I know it's quite hard to tell, hold on. Is the air fryer one slightly bigger than the, um, than the uh, <laughs> oven one? 
Right, let's turn that over as well. You know, it's quite a bit darker on the other one. Yeah, significantly darker. Turn it over again. Right, let's cut into them. I'm just going to um, turn you off. I'll be back in a tick. Pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, that looks that actually looks really good. Let's just cut the other one. And um, that looks let's have a look side by side. I mean they, they that looks really good too. Right, let's just cut a slice. Move that out of the way now because we're going to come to the. Ooh. Right, let's butter these. That's the air fryer and the um, the the oven. Let's put them on top. I mean, they're exactly the same size. Well, pr practically, yeah. I think they're probably going to taste the same. It's just timings, isn't it? Like the oven took. Um, I only want half. I don't want to eat the whole slice. Um, yeah, the. Um, what was I saying? The oven took thirty minutes, and the air fry one took uh, twenty minutes. So just have a bite of one of each one. Let's get some. So oven versus um, air fryer. The uh, air fryer is just quicker. I mean, we all knew that anyway. But I, I'm really pleased with this after yesterday's fail. Well, this will go out on Friday, so it would be two days from after Wednesday's fail. I mean, that's really really nice cool. and this is the air fryer one mm. Mm. oh that's tasty that's really tasty i mean the butter helps <laughs> it's what you stick on it but the crust is perfect all around. Oh, this is the other one. Excuse me. Tastes just the same. Both lovely. The air fry is quicker, isn't it? Much quicker. Well, oh, well, I'm really pleased I finally made something that worked. Thank you so much for all your comments and your help, your your tips. Absolutely brilliant tips. Keep the yeast in the fridge or the freezer. Going to be doing it. Keeping mine in the fridge. Um, don't use dehydrate. That doesn't work. <laughs> Even though I'd read it on a, 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 a Facebook group, I read it on a post in an FB group. Um, one of those really the, one of the larger Facebook groups. Um, Someone had done it and it was successful for them, but not not for me. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm going to put a link to the Anthony's Hall's um, new Facebook group because when it's small, it's kind of more f friendly and you know everybody sort of gets to know each other quite really well and all that kind of stuff. So I'll put a link in the description again. Head on down there and, and join the fun, as it were. Um, yeah. Oh. That was tasty. Thank you again for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye.